One of my wonderful subscribers mentioned this uh, number theory book and uh, I was actually looking for, for a book like this one for a while. Uh, even though I've done a fair amount of number theory when I started in this quest uh, and I have books that I can just go back when I want to refresh myself, I always like a new book just because I'm a collector and uh, I always like a new book that I can cover. So actually I, I, I think if I can this will be the book that I'll use to get to get refreshed with number theory. I think I can. I think I will, I should say. So it's a Dover book, so it's very cheap. And of course, if you're in the US from Amazon, it'll come to you next day. Um, and it's it's a great refresher book for number theory for somebody who's had it before. And I even think it would be a very good book for somebody just getting started. It's got all the major things. It's got uh, Diophantine equations, factorization, congruences, linear, uh, for Manton Wilson's theorem, the divisors, perfect numbers, Euler's theorem, primitive roots, which I love, quadratic congruence, congruences, uh, quadratic reciprocity, very important to me, one of my favorite theorems of all time, uh, numbers in other bases, dual decimals, decimals, Pythagorean triangles, Infinite Descent and Fermat's Conjecture. I see things that I haven't done, as a matter of fact. Uh, sums of two squares, four squares, uh, a specific Diophantine equation, bounds for pi of x. I, I think this has to do with the inclusion-exclusion theorem, if I remember correctly. Formulas for primes, additional problems. It's got some nice uh, appendices. Most importantly, it's got answers to selected exercises. And I really like that. So I'll just page through the book briefly. And uh, it is really accessible, easy to read. You know, just very easy to read. Clear terminology. I think this is the perfect uh, get back to number theory book. It's got a small number of problems. And that's actually perfect for what I plan to use it for. I wouldn't call it small, but it's just representative. It's got, a re it's got a representative number of problems. They remind me of problems in... Uh, oh, what is that book? I forget the name. It's one of the books that I have in my four number theory books. I forget the name now. Um, the harder one. It's just got the, the font reminds me of that book. Yeah, so I'm not going to page through the whole book, but definitely it's got, it's got all the bones of number theory, for sure. And at the end, at the end, it's got a uh, table, this is why the pen is here. It's got a table of, uh, it's a factor table for integers less than 10,000, so you take any integer and you say, I want to I want to get the uh, prime number factorization for it. And with this table, you can do it. My son and I were looking at it last night. And we were like, well, we cannot figure out how this works. But I did. Yeah, it's easy. It's actually pretty easy. And I've done a few examples. And I'll do them here uh, just to finish up this video. So let's just say you wanted to find out the prime factors of 21. You go in here. Okay. And you find 2, 1. Okay. 2, 1. So, of course, for evens, you don't need to do anything. So, it's only really odd numbers that, that you do this for. For evens, you just keep dividing by 2, and then you find an odd number, and you come in here. So, for what we're doing, we're doing 21. So, 21 has its lowest prime factor is 3. Then you divide 21 by 3, and you get 7. Then you come back here with 7, 0, 7, and it's prime. Okay, there you go. 21 is 3 times 7. Then, let's just do another one. Let's do 187. 18, 7 column is 11. So you come back here, you divide 187 by 11. Sure enough, it's 17. Then you look up 17. Well, we all know 17 is prime. There you go. 187 is 11 by 17. Pick a bigger number, 1133. Okay, 1133 is 113 column 1. It's a Column, I'm sorry, column 2, it's 11. So you divide it by 11, you get 103. You come here and you look at 103, and it's prime. 
Let's do 2301. 2301 is in here. 230 and 1, first column, it's a 3. You divide 2301 by 3, you get 767. You look it up, you come in here, and uh, you go to 767. And 767, the 7, I'm sorry, 767. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I'm glad that I made a mistake because I caught myself. 767 is 76, and the 7 column is 13. So you take 767 divided by 13, and it's 59. 59 is prime. So there you go. And I actually made a mistake, so you can catch yourself if you make that mistake to always remember that the full number is the first three digits, and the last digit is the column. Uh, so yeah. It's got, it's got problems. It's got a few references. Saw, I saw a list of references, but I always like those because I always find new books to get. Um, yeah, and out of these, look at that. He quotes the art of computer programming. That's interesting. Yeah, so there you have it. That is Dudley, elementary number theory. Nice.